Alright guys, welcome back to the card review. So we're looking at another Telenite monster because I like Telenite, so whenever they get some new monsters or new support, I like to go over them because I like Telenites. So, today we are looking at Satellanite Capella. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, um, Satellanite Capella is a light warrior effect. Level 4, with 1100 attack and 2000 defense, so nice booty. Nice big 2000 booty, not bad, not bad. So uh, let's go over this effect and determine whether this card be ran or is it good or what's up with it. So, if this card is summoned, you can activate this effect this turn. You can treat level 4 or lower Telonite monsters you control as level 5 for XC summons that require 3 or more XC materials. You can only use the effect of Satellanite Capella once per turn. Alright, so pretty much this card says, hey, you can make... Castellar Knight Diamond main phase one. That's pretty much what this guy is saying. Pretty much, if you you know if you go Vega, you know Vega summon you know you know let's say Altair Altair summon this instead of Deneb, which I don't know why you'd ever do that. You know instead of Deneb and searching and plusing, you summon this instead. You of course can have this guy uh, treat all level four or lower Telonite monsters control as level five exes. So you can go straight into a diamond. Now this is the part that sucks is that. XC summons that require three or more XC materials. Like, oh my god. If it just says straight up, you can treat this level four or lower tell much you control as level five for an XC summon. Oh my god. This guy would be awesome because you can literally make Pleiades. You can make a Pleiades. You can just go, alright, well, Vega, summon this guy, make all my Telonite monsters count as five, man, Pleiades. Bam. Well, they're both, they're both level five, they would both be like Pleiades. And that would just be awesome. But of course, Konami is like, no, 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 no. Just for Telonites, alright? So, of course, it has to be that requires three or more extreme materials, Constellanite Diamond. So, pretty much, have you ever wanted to make Constellanite Diamond main phase one? No, not really. His effect is good, but it's really only good against kind of Shadows, kind of Burning Abyss. But, you know, it's not, you know, totally worth doing this. I understand. I understand, you know. You know, would you rather go into, you know, a Deltaros and pop something? Or go into a Trivia and bounce everything back and pick something out of their hand? Then in the main phase 2, go ahead and put a Constellanite down. Especially Trivia. Like, you know, you could just go, you know, summon a Telonite, summon a Telonite, summon another Telonite. Make them all five. Make go into Diamond. Or you can just go... Summon a Telonite, Summon a Telonite, Summon a Telonite, go into Trivial, bounce everything back, detach, pit something out of your opponent's hand, then poke him for 21, then exceed into Ken Stonite Diamond and Main Phase 2. Like, I just don't understand why you would ever really want to do Castellar Knight Diamond in Main Phase 1 when it feels like, you know, Trivial into Diamond in Main Phase 2 just seems like a better play. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But, there's actually one more card that you might want to consider going into if you're going down this route. So, of course, this card is meant for Constellanite Diamond. This is supposed to allow you to do go into Constellanite Diamond, main phase 1, by, of course, having three level 5 Telonite monsters. Alright? But, there's one more card, one more card that you might want to consider going into as an XC that, of course, is rank 5 and requires 3 or more XC material. And, of course... The monster that I know you guys know and love, number C101, Silent Honor Dark. Yeah. So, of course, he is rank 5. It requires three level 5 monsters. Bam. C101. Take your opponent's special monster, put it as XC material. 2800. So, you know, that's also another play you can do. So, if any of the players are considering to run a Capella just for um, the main phase 1 um, you know, Castellanite Diamond play, which I don't understand why you're doing it, but if you decide to do it, make sure you go ahead and throw in a number C101 too, because, of course, you can go into him. Now, uh, you know, you probably won't have, uh, you know, um, a C101 in the ground, but if you do, like, if you went, like, you know, you know, oh, Altair into, you know, Deneb, Surge, made a 101, took your opponent's monster, of course, if that 101 is in the graveyard, when your C101 dies, uh, you can special summon this card from your graveyard, and then, you know, gain attack equal to this monster, so t gain 28, you know, uh, C1, you know, regular 101 has to be in the graveyard when you uh, when you activate and resolve this effect, um, and, uh, yeah, then you can just start taking more special summon monsters, you know, so, you know, not bad, just, it, that you don't even have to detach, just, once per turn, take one of your opponent's special monsters, just, bam, give it to me, 
damn, give it to me. So, uh, of course, this card has to be destroyed while it has extreme material. So, you know, if your opponent kills it and then it comes back, it won't have an extreme material. So, your opponent kills it a second time, even if you do have 101 in the graveyard, it won't come back unless you, of course, take another special summon monster and you can keep on going, keep on as long as you're grabbing the special summon monsters. See, 101's got you. So I definitely recommend that if you decide to go ahead and do the whole Capella route and you have three level five Telonite monsters and that you have to exceed into a monster that requires three or more XC material, I'd say C101. I would say C101 over in main phase one over just Stellarite Diamond in main phase one, you know, any day. You know, especially since it only really hurts darks, you know, and, you know, some of the meta is not really dark, you know. And, you know, they, like, wait, what's the point of doing this against Cleplate? Like, ooh, all right, you know. While, uh, you know, C101, uh, you know, Dark, he can snatch up one of the Kleeput monsters, you know. He's a 28, so he might be stronger attack than some of them, depending on, you know, the the situation in duels and cards on the field. But, you know, I'd say I'd rather go into C101. I, I don't know why Capella was made. I just don't feel like it's really necessary. But I guess they're just like, oh, you know, all the Tower Knight players want to go into Diamond Main Phase 1. So, yeah, let's make a card that allows them to do it. But they can't go into anything that requires only two Exim materials. It has to be three. Because no pleadies for them. This is Tower Knights. They're Constellas. There is no... Not, they have nothing to do with each other. Shut up, Constella Knight Diamond. <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, tell me what you guys think about uh, Capella in the comment section below. So I think that's all the Tell our Monsters for right now and Secrets of Eternity. If I get something new, of course, I will come and uh, review it. But for now, I think that's it. So we're just going to move on away from Tell Knights. I got a lot of other cards to discuss, so we're going to, of course, get to them. So I'll see you um, Thursday with another card to look at. So thanks for watching another episode of the card review. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys um, Thursday with another card to look at. All right. Thanks for watching.